So far, we have added the authentication functionality to our login signup page. Now, if I create a new account, set some password, use some unique username. Now, create account. Okay, so account created successfully, and when I log in, now login is successful. So I am logged in with this email ID, its respective username. But whenever I go to home page or any another page, come back to this account page, then you see that the state is gone. I am no longer logged in with the with that previous ID, and so. To fix this issue, we have to use special state methods in Streamlit. We are going to use session state to maintain two things. First thing was our email ID and second we have to keep note of uh, user ID of the user. For username, I will write something like if username note in st.sessionState. Then st dot session state dot username will be equal to null. Similarly for user email, I will use I'll replace username with user email. What this line of code do is if this variable username is not in session state then just create a session state for username with null entry and whenever user is logged in we will change this session state value to the respective username and respective user id and this will be done when user is successfully logged in so if this login is successful, then just make st dot session state dot username equal to user dot uid. So when user try to login, if login is successful, then using this user dot uid function, we will be able to fetch his username. And similarly for Email ID st dot different state dot user email will be equal to user dot email. Okay, so now we have the note for username and user email. After that, as you can see that on the account page, we don't want to show this content when user is already logged in. Like in our website, when a user is already logged in, we just have to show his username and email ID and an option for sign out button. We don't want to show this content. So for that also, we have to make a session state. So come out of this login function and here, we have two cases. First is sign out. User is signed out, that means he need to log in. And second state is to give him sign out option. So for signed out, if signed out not in st dot session state, then do st dot session state dot signed out is equal to false. also make sign out state as false initially we will change them according to the need so okay so these two states are created and this state is signed out as user is not logged in he is signed out currently so when we are signed out only then we will show this login or sign up page 
Initially, we are setting signed out and signed out value as false. So, I can write something like if note st dot session state signed out. It means that when this value is true, then only what we have to do. I mean, if we are user is signed out, then we have to give a choice for login sign up. So I'm putting this choice variable here. And after that, this part will come below it. Yeah. So when user is not logged in, he will get option for login or sign up. And if he chose to log in, then the login page options will be shown and when you click on login then this f function will get called and if else means if he chooses to sign up then the options for sign up will be shown and so this was the case when state was uh, when the state was signed out if the state is signed out not signed out means if st dot session state dot sign out means we are showing option for sign out this user is already logged in so here user is logged in this is sign out state so here we have to show the username and email id and sign out button so just add them just add all these things so st.text name st.session state.username this will show the username and similarly this will show the user email and when sign out button is click then we have to perform a function named t so this t we have to create this t function the f function was for login and t for sign out when the t function is called then we will make both the sign out and signed out state as false as they were initially so this will make them false and after that when user is signed out then the user name session state for username will also become nil so this is the code for that and one more thing we have to do is when we are logged in then the session state This session state's value should become true so that this function will not run but this one will run you can see i had already used the node here only so if this value is true then this thing will work and if this signed out session state value is true, then it will become false. And as you don't know, these if statements work only when the condition mentioned is true. So only one will work at a time. Let's save it, check it out. I'm trying to log in. Okay. After successful login, our website shows the username and the email id of the user and when i went to other visit other pages and come back the state keeps constant and when i click on signed out then again the same login sign up page come back so this was all about this account page i hope you liked it
and if you are getting confused with this session state then just keep in mind that you have to focus on the value of session state function false and true and this logic is not perfect like it could have been improved but it worked for me so i use this kind of syntax you can build your own logic it's a bit complex so but it will work it should do the work for you so that's all from my side for this login page tutorial i hope you liked it thanks